technology, the change in an ecosystem like that is what you know what you should be hoping for to to advance the state of small scale development. Um, and there's plenty of possibilities there. And when you look at what's happened with the open things, when you look at the magic of the web and uh, or how Android's taking off, things that can be done broadly distributed for free uh, can have huge impacts. They can have really large effects on things. Uh, but no, technology is not going to all of a sudden let you uh, let you produce a AAA game. We can hope more and more stuff gets open source. That I. Uh, you know, they, when you can just, and a lot of games, like mobile games, are done like that now, where you grab a, grab a physics engine over here, you grab a rendering engine from over here, and that's going to continue, and that's going to get better and better, and it's remarkable what people can do in the mobile space by cobbling things together there, but it's not going to take you to modern warfare. It took you to a different place, and, that, and that's, that's really great that it worked out this way, because the, the cobbled together stuff didn't take you to Quake 3. It took you to... Angry Birds and Cut the Rope and these other things that are different. And that led these developers that nobody knew about to become titans in their industry. I think that there's going to be a similar thing with virtual reality. I think that the people are going to do the, the same type of thing. It's not going to be the big companies that, uh, that sort of set the language that other people work within later on. Uh, but programmers today, we do have the resources at our disposal, both hardware-wise and what we have available in the open source world, to be magicians. You, know, you can call forth the powers of all of these different things, and very much like Fantasia, though, most of the wizards don't know what they're doing. They call forth powers beyond their ken, and, uh, but it still works out more often than not, so it's a, it's a good, happy thing. So I got the better wrap-up soon, so any, any last important questions? <laughs> Back there. Um, yeah, uh, so now that TangoWorks is uh, using it Tech5, how has it been, um, how has the experience been with an Asian developer, like you guys haven't worked with an Eastern team before? And there's another question, um, the modding scene, it, do you see a Tech5 being thrown by its software, like to something like uh, UDK, like do you? foresee taking a tech fight to that level, or is it going to be on a per game basis, the studio decides whether it wants to do modding tools or not? So, uh, we've had, we had a lot less interaction with Tango than we had with machine games. Uh, they started off changing the, the technology uh, more radically at the beginning. They, they had a lot of different things they wanted to integrate. Uh, I mean, they're, you know, they're quality people, obviously, and they're, uh, they've got work that's come along, but we just, you know, I had almost, I've had almost no interaction with them, honestly. Uh, some of the other people on the core tech team have, have done more support, but they've pretty much done things all on their own. Uh, you know, we're deep involved in Wolfenstein at this point on getting everything sort of together in the push towards shipping, but uh, Tango has been uh, sort of off on their own largely. Uh, regarding modability and things, that's some of our major internal directions are, are working on improving that because we, you know, we totally fumbled that this generation and I don't think that uh, I don't think it's likely that we can expect radical improvements in this current crop in like Wolfenstein and Tango uh, hopefully better but there's still um, there's work that needs to be done on a on a corporate level and how we prioritize things in our games how we prioritize our releases uh, that effort needs to be expended on. But that uh, the thing that I talked about doing user interface work for six months uh, was my contribution towards how we're changing this going forward, but it's not a near-term thing. And there's other significant technology things that I want to change that will be better for us and also better for enabling the, you know, the external creativity. So uh, I think I'll, I'll wrap it up now, but I'll, I'll mill around for a little bit afterwards. <laughs> <laughs>